what's up hello my name is Emma and today I'm going to be spending my day at Barnes & Noble so basically this week I am all caught up in my homework I have like no appointments nothing pressing to do and of course because I have the time to film my creativity is just shot so I haven't been able to film anything and I've been going a little out of my mind just like sitting at home so I decided it's a rainy day I have nothing to do until like later in the evening so why not just like spend all all day at Barnes & Noble just because I want to. I tend to spend quite a lot of time at Barnes & Noble. It's not close to me. It's like 30 minutes away, but I will drive there like literally just to sit at the cafe with a cup of tea and like do my homework or edit videos. So I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to be doing today. Um, I have a couple of books that I would like to pick up. I would be happier if Barnes & Noble's 15% off coupon was valid in store as well. It's 9.30 in the morning. It's raining. I'm feeling good. So I'm going to like start getting ready right now and head out early to spend as much time as I can at the bookstore today. driving to Barnes & Noble, we could talk about what I'm currently reading. Right now, I'm in the middle of The Case for Jamie by Brittany Cavallaro, which is the third book in the Charlotte Holmes series. And I'm loving it so much. I think it might be my favorite out of the whole series so far, which is like a lot to say because I love to study in Charlotte so much. I unfortunately did not love the last of August all that much. So I was a little nervous going into the case for Jamie, but it's been really satisfying. I love the character so much and I'm really enjoying the plot so far, even though like not much has happened. The narrators, like the main characters, their voices are so distinct and fun to read to. So I'm super excited to continue reading and I am also listening to the audiobook for An Anonymous Girl. I don't actually remember the two co-authors, but um, I'm pretty sure it's like a new adult thriller release, and it's been really interesting so far. Um, like half the book is told in second person perspective, which is really interesting, and I've just been like flying through it. I am so mad at myself. I realized I'm taking a longer way. Why am I like this? But yeah, An Anonymous Girl is really good so far, and it's actually one of the books I'm planning on buying today. Even though we're not that far into 2019 yet, I haven't actually bought any books like for myself this year. I did that um, book shopping challenge video with Michael, which I'll link below if you want to check it out. So I bought books for him, but I haven't treated myself to any new books lately. So I'm thinking of buying maybe three books today. So I know I want to buy An Anonymous Girl because I like to own the books that I enjoy um, and I also want to buy another adult thriller called watching you the cover has just been like capturing me every time I see it I haven't been able to stop thinking about it so I think it's a good reason for me to pick it up especially because I am just like devouring so many thrillers at the moment and the third book that I want to buy I actually cannot remember um, as I've been like preparing to go to Barnes & Noble today I've been thinking about the books that I want to get and there's this one that I just like can't ever remember the title of. I'm pretty sure it's a thriller. It might be adult, but like I genuinely don't know. So I thought it would be funny if you have a guess as to what book I'm potentially buying today. Leave it in the comments below. And if you end up being correct, because I'm sure I will remember when I see it, um, I'll pin you if you don't cheat and comment after I find out what book it is. Oh, I forgot to mention, my first stop today is actually not Barnes & Noble. Um, I'm going to Chipotle for lunch because I didn't eat breakfast today. I wasn't hungry enough yet in the morning. So I'm gonna get some Chipotle and enjoy myself and read the case for Jamie and 
then I'm gonna go to Barnes and Noble and we'll go book shopping and then I'll sit at the cafe and either do some school work or some YouTube work. Um, so basically they literally just cut off the parkway. <laughs> literally there is just like a truck in the middle of the street and it's just like everyone get off at this one exit and there's no visible reason why. Okay, like maybe somewhere down the parkway there's like a lot of flooding, but like first of all, it's not even raining that hard and it never floods over here. And second of all, like this is New York. There is no force of mother nature that can stop us. So I just witnessed this Jeep like get into the mud and grass on the side of the exit to get away from this huge traffic jam and they're just like racing up, their mud is flying everywhere. And for a second I was like, you know, damn, like I really would normally be mad at that, but I respect the hustle. And then he gets stuck. Oh well. Karma's a bitch. five feet apart because they're not gay. So I have scoured the YA section and for the life of me I cannot find the third book that I really really wanted over the last few days. It's not on my Goodreads, TBR, it's not on my Amazon wish list. Like I didn't save this title anywhere so I don't know if I will ever find it but we're gonna go check the adult section. Maybe I mixed it up and it really is adult. Um, I'm gonna pick up the books that I want to get from there and then I'm gonna check out and go hang out at the cafe for a while. so badly but I already have a copy of you and I can't do it to myself this is such a tragedy they ask you how you are you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine but you just can't get into it because they would never understand Thank you. 
I just got out of dance. Um, my dance class is not like competitive or anything. I just do it once a week with my friend and my dance teacher because we've been doing it together since I was like two years old. Really fun, always love my Thursday dance class. And now I'm actually about to head out to Pole. Like I've literally just been taking you around Long Island today. <laughs> but before I head out to Pole, I wanted to just give you guys a little final Barnes and Noble update and talk about the books that I bought. So the first book I got is An Anonymous Girl by Greer Hendricks and Sarah Pickenin. This is my current read. I'm listening to it on audio. I don't actually know how far into it I am, but I've definitely listened to like at least a few hours at this point. I'm really enjoying it so far. It's not like the most mind-blowing thriller I've ever read, but I find it really engaging and it's like so easy for me to fall into. I'm still in the beginning, so I'm hopeful that like the intensity will pick up as the story goes on because one of my good friends, Elias, recently really loved it and that's like the main reason I picked it up because I always go to Elias for recommendations. The next book I bought is Watching You by Lisa Jewell. This book was actually 20% off, which was really exciting because as I said earlier, I really wanted a coupon, so I'm glad I got an extra discount on top of it. The main reason I picked this one up is just because like I have not been able to get this cover out of my mind. There's something about the art style of it because I believe it is like a, a digital drawing. I don't think it's a photo. Um, plus the coloration and stuff and the way that the U goes in and out of the windows. I just like have not been able to forget about it, so I really wanted to get it. I feel like it's a sign that I should pick it up. I just realized I haven't actually bought a book based off the cover in like so many years, but here we are again. All I can really gauge from the synopsis is it takes place in Bristol and like someone is murdered in their kitchen and it's all about finding out the secrets about the surrounding neighbors and who would have wanted these people dead. So it sounds really interesting, definitely on my alley. Um, I am just like writing out this thriller cake and I want to read as many as I can before my reading tastes change. So I'm excited to hopefully pick this one up soon. And then the last book I bought, again, I don't have it physically, but it is Hidden Bodies by Caroline Kepnes and it is the sequel to You. I actually read You maybe in October like I had watched the first episode of the show like when it had first aired that first week and then I like immediately picked up the audiobook loved it finished the show loved it and now I'm actually re-watching this show my sister also just started watching you and asked me to borrow the book so she could read it and then mentioned that there was a sequel and I was like oh my god I didn't know there was a sequel like I want to read it so that one's gonna be shipped to my house so I'm excited to read that when it comes in I'm honestly a little wary about this book because you felt like such a complete standalone story and I'm not really sure how they could expand upon it in a way that's like feels necessary and is not just like a sequel that we didn't really need but I'm really interested in it too so I'm going to probably call my dad on my drive to poll and if I have time I'm gonna listen to more of an anonymous girl and I'm gonna go have a really nice poll class which I'm excited for um, and I'll check in later <laughs> when I got home from pole, I literally fell asleep immediately. I just took my antidepressant and the melatonin and I was like, bye. But I had an amazing time at pole as always. I like nailed that chopper to a leg hang to a twisty splitty thingy that you saw in the video. So I'm super pleased with that and I have two more classes tonight which I'm really, really excited for. Yeah, you know, sometimes I just feel like last clips of a vlog are so unnecessary. Like. What else is there for me to say? I had a great day at the bookstore. You saw all of it. Um, it was a really fun time and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. So yeah, let me know in the comments if you guys are interested in more just like casual vlogs that aren't necessarily like a, a specific event that I'm vlogging because I really enjoy doing them. But that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you soon for a new one. Bye.